Welcome to Atlanta, Georgia. MLB The Show's Game of the Week is coming your way. It's the Miami Marlins going up against the Atlanta Braves. Alongside Chris Singleton, I'm John Chumby. Yeah, we got a rubber match on our hands today, partner. Yeah, the final game of a three-game set. They've split the first two, and regardless of how important a series is within the larger picture of the season, it's a game you want to get up for. Every series win feels good, so we should see a fun matchup in this one. All right, we'll be back to get this one started after this. Ready to go now, and at the plate for Miami, Jordan Groshans. The shortstop, Jordan Swing and a ground ball out to short. Tejada. Zips it to first. One up, one down. Batting second. The left fielder, Ryan De La Cruz. Now in for the Braves, King Tejada. Two for seven in the series so far. Pretty amazing athlete this guy is. Power and speed, quite a threat. I mean, you're talking about someone that could steal your bag and go deep. Bo Jackson, anyone? Drilled out towards left center field. That's well struck. That's going back. Back some more. Pulls it in on the warning track. That is good. No left field. Back here at the ballpark, all set for the start of the inning. And here is Miguel Guzman. You talk about the power and the speed together. Well, we knew he was going to be a stud just coming up, making his way through the minor leagues, and quickly at this level, an impact player. Tosses to first. Oh. Leadoff hitter gone in the third. Batting it. The third baseman. And now it's Atlanta's cleanup hitter, King Tejada. So clutch, you could argue that he's been this team's MVP this year. Great speed and great power, a great athlete, quite simply. That's ripped, and this one could be extra bases. Acuna, around second, headed for third. Not in time. He's safe. And they lead by two. Well, clearly he was ready to hit right there. Solid swing from start to end. On time with everything. Really good balance. Nice extension. And he met it out front for the line drive knock. Here's Lourdes Gurriel Jr. 0 for 1. He hit into a fielder's choice his first time. The count two and one. Runner breaks for third. Throw. Safe. Mejia too late. That is officially the most stolen bases ever in a major league season. There's no slowing this guy down. A special moment for him and everybody in the ballpark who got to witness it as well. The greatest display of base running over the course of a season that we've ever seen flat out. Out to short, Groshans. On to first. That's out number one, and a run comes in to score. Here's Alex Kirilov. 0 for 1 with a flyout. Alex Kirilov. On the ground, out to short. Throw on to Olsen, and that is that. Marlins leave one. Still down, 3 nothing. King Tejada next up four. for the Braves. Shortstop. He is quite an athlete. I mean, you look around the other sports, basketball, football, you feel like he could thrive in one of those sports, too. Hammered down the line. Could be extra bases. 
And that rolls into the corner. Takes the turn. He's digging for second. And he's got his second double of the game. Well, Singy, he is locked in there. Well, he's really slowed the game down. And it's like he's moving in full speed and everybody is a step or two behind. The way that he squared up that baseball tells me that he is seeing it like a beach ball. Here comes the skipper, and we're going to see a pitching change in this spot. That'll be it for Trevor Rogers, and we'll be back with their first arm out of the pen after a quick break. New pitcher for the Marlins, Devin Smeltzer. And he's coming in to pitch on four days rest right here. And that might not be a factor at all in terms of being rusty, but he should definitely be well rested. Runner takes off for third. Pitch is low. Throw. Safe. Mejia too late. That stolen base right there was all about the jump off the pitcher. He got a nice lead, timed him up perfectly, and was off to the races as soon as that pitcher went home. That's how you want to do it. That excites the entire team over there in the dugout. Tejada takes his lead at third with one away. That one off the mark. Three balls and a strike. Miami's bullpen with some action. Dean Kremer preparing to come on if needed. Good plate appearance there. Able to take the walk. They just keep handing out gifts, Boo. Were we supposed to bring something? See, I think just our presence is the present. So one out with two aboard. And now the catcher comes up to him. Sean Murphy. 3-2 now. In the air to left down the line. Reaches for it, but it's foul. Not the easiest thing. When you're talking about a guy that's, you know, perhaps is going to be in the rotation, you know, maybe a long relief guy, to not start an inning, to come into an inning with pressure on it and, and try to get yourself comfortable. This one high in the air to left center. Chisholm has a beat on it. He makes the grab. Runner tags for home. The throw is offline, and he's in to score. And the lead is up to five. Now at the plate, now King Tejada. Outfield playing very King. deep, not wanting Sir, anything over their heads. He's not going to get cheated up there. No, he's not. He's looking to do damage with every swing he takes. Out to short, Groshans. Throws across the diamond. Now they get the out. Here's Drew Mendoza. Now no, no. the third baseman. Mendoza. One down, base is empty. On the ground to short, Tejada. Jump throw, he's in there. The effort was there with the jump throw. You got to love it, but we saw complete domination in this one. The offense exploded for a blowout, and then the pitching staff nails, locked down the opponent. These guys did everything right today. This one ends 7-0. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Chomby. Thanks for joining us.